fishing for floaters. All right, so basically, if your poo has a lot of gas in it, it will float. It's a bit like eggs. Fresh ones have little or no air in them, so they sink. Old eggs that have started to go bad will have more air or gas inside them, so they float. Your poo might have more gas in it if you've eaten something like cabbage, beans or certain sugary drinks. Floating poos are called floaters. And for some reason, someone, somewhere thought, Oh, you know what would be cooler than a fishing game with fish in it? You know, like gone fishing. Yeah, a fishing game with poo. Gone fishing really is a clever game. The heads of the fish naturally hang open under their own weight. But the holes they go in are just small enough to hold their mouths closed. When the fish reaches the top of the hole, the mouth opens, and when it goes back down again, it closes. The fin on the back helps this to happen smoothly. But that's not where it ends. The fish are pushed up by little plastic wraps, making each fish surface two times each rotation. The ramps are smooth on one side and steep on the other, so each fish rises up slowly and then snaps its mouth shut again quickly. This is brilliant design, and to be honest, I think this is why Gone Fishing hasn't changed at all since I had this game when I was your age. Well, the rods used to be made of string which would get tangled up in the box and that was pretty frustrating. But the mechanism is the same. The ramps that cause the fish to surface actually stay still and the pond with the holes in it moves over them. This means the best strategy for gone fishing is not to follow a fish, but to hover over the ramps and wait for the fish to come to you. Which is a shame, because apart from that, it's a very clever game. What it lacks is randomness, uncontrolled movement, such as the movement of water. That's probably what the makers of Fishing for Floaters were thinking. Let's do a fishing game, but with real water and realistic rods and nets. Yeah, and instead of boring old fish, let's use floating poos. I don't have much to say about this game. The poos float all right and the rods work quite well. It's not too hard. There's a few different shapes of poos, including the classic Mr. Whippy shape. Do poos that land in water even form this shape. Surely this only happens on land. Why am I even thinking about this? How about this? Unmentionables in the bath? Try to fish them out. Oh, you make a game about fishing for poos, but you use a polite word for them, unmentionables. Try to fish them out? No! Just get out of the bath! I even found this one. where you attach the rod to a pair of glasses. This doesn't work for me because I actually need glasses and without them, everything just looks like this. I tried attaching, I tried attaching the rod to my actual glasses, which was fine until I forgot and went out to the shops. <laughs> 